From ancient times until the 14th century CE, the region of Nitur and Udagolan, located in Bellary district, was believed to be a part of the Moria Empire during the 3rd century BCE. Excavations at the site have uncovered a Brahmi inscription and a terracotta seal dating back to the 2nd century CE. Historical records from the Badami Chalukya dynasty between the 6th and 8th centuries refer to the town as Pampapura. During the 10th century, it gained significance as a hub for religious and educational activities under the rule of the Hindu kings known as Kalyana Chalukyas, who granted land to the Virupaksha temple. Numerous inscriptions from the 11th to 13th centuries mention the Hampi site and record offerings made to the goddess Hampa Devi. Between the 12th and 14th centuries, the Hindu kings of the Hoysala Empire constructed temples dedicated to Durga, Hampa Devi, and Shiva. An inscription dating back to approximately 1199 CE indicates that Hampi became the second royal residence, and one of the Hoysala kings was referred to as Lord of Hampi, or Hampeya Odea. The Hoysala period inscriptions refer to Hampi by various names, including Virupakshapatana and Vijaya Virupakshapura, in honor of the ancient Virupaksha, Shiva, temple situated there, according to the research of Burton Stein. During the 14th century and onwards, the armies of the Delhi Sultanate, led by Aladdin Khalji and Muhammad bin Tughlaq, launched invasions on South India. These invasions resulted in the plundering and destruction of the Hoysala Empire, including its capital Devarasamudra in southern Karnataka. Alauddin Khalji's forces first attacked in the early 14th century, followed by another invasion by Muhammad bin Tughlaq's army in 1326 CE. The collapse of the Hoysala Empire led to the emergence of the short-lived Hindu kingdom known as the Kampali Kingdom, located in north-central Karnataka, approximately 33 kilometers, 21 miles, away from Hampi. However, the Kampili kingdom met its end when it was invaded by Muhammad bin Tughlaq's Muslim armies. Facing defeat, the Hindu women of Kampili performed Jauhar, a ritual mass suicide. In 1336 CE, the Vijayanagara Empire rose from the remnants of the Kampili kingdom, becoming one of the renowned Hindu empires of South India, ruling for over 200 years. The Vijayanagara Empire established its capital in Hampi, naming it Vijayanagara. Some historians suggest that the empire's founders, Harihara I and Bukha I, were commanders in the Hoysala Empire's army stationed in the Tungabhadra region to defend against Muslim invasions from northern India. Others claim that they were Telugu people who gained control over the northern parts of the declining Hoysala Empire. According to certain texts, such as Vidyaranya Kalajana, Vidyaranya Vritanta, Rajakala Nirnaya, Pitamaha Samhita, and Sivatatvaratnakara, Harihara I and Bukha I served as treasury officers under Pratap Rudra, the king of the Kakatiya kingdom. When Muhammad bin Tughlaq sought Baha Uddin Gurshasp, who had sought refuge in Pratap Rudra's court, Pratap Rudra was overthrown and the Kakatiya kingdom was destroyed. During this time, Harihara I, Bukha I, and a small army arrived at the present location of Vijayanagara, Hampi. They were protected and supported by Vidyaranya, the twelfth Jagadguru of the Sringeri Sarada Pitham, who helped establish them on the throne, resulting in the city being named Vidyanagara in A.D. 1336. The Vijayanagara rulers expanded the infrastructure and constructed temples. According to scholars like Nicholas Gear, by 1500 CE, Hampi Vijayanagara was the second largest medieval city in the world after Beijing and likely the wealthiest city in India. Its prosperity attracted traders from the Deccan area, Persia, and the Portuguese colony of Goa in the 16th century. The Vijayanagara Empire encouraged advancements in intellectual pursuits, arts, and maintained a strong military, engaging in numerous wars with the sultanates to its north and east. They invested in the development of roads, waterworks, agriculture, religious buildings, and public infrastructure. This included forts, riverside features, royal and sacred complexes, temples, shrines, pillared halls, memorial structures, gateways, 
check posts, stables, water structures, and more, as mentioned by UNESCO. The site of Vijayanagara was characterized by its multi-religious and multi-ethnic nature, with Hindu and Jain monuments coexisting. The architectural style predominantly followed the South Indian Hindu arts and architecture of the Ihole Patadakal styles, but also incorporated elements of Indian architecture in structures such as the Lotus Mahal, the public bath, and the elephant stables. According to historical accounts left by Portuguese and Persian traders who visited Hampi, the city was considered a metropolis and was hailed as one of the most beautiful cities. Despite its prosperity and impressive infrastructure, the conflicts between the Muslim sultanates and the Vijayanagara Empire persisted. In 1565, at the Battle of Talakota, a coalition of Muslim sultanates waged war against the Vijayanagara Empire. The king, Aliya Ramaraya, was captured and beheaded, and the city of Hampi and the greater Vijayanagara metropolis suffered extensive destruction for six months. Subsequently, the city was abandoned and left in ruins, now known as the Group of Monuments at Hampi, 